Now I know I haven't uploaded in a long time, but I'm I'm safe to say that I've clearly have came back. Finally, I'm gonna start uploading weekly and getting videos out once a day, just for you guys. I'm so sorry I haven't been uploading for two or three weeks at a time, and it, it just annoys you too. So I'm gonna start uploading frequently for now on. I want to get through a few couple points in this video. One, you know, I'm gonna try to do a recap for this week. Um, My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, One Piece, um, Black Clover, and then get a recap of all of them and get back to where I was so next week I can do what's currently happening in those animes shown in, whatever you want to call them. So I can just get back and stay frequent, English, Daddy, frequent with them. So, with that said, I want to get a few things about One Piece out of the way. We finally entered the Reverie. We are out of the Total Land arc. So people can rest aside, they won't have to see Big Mom until at least a little while. Hint, hit Wano, but. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go over Whole Cake Island as a whole. What I really think about the arc truly from my heart, it's just, it's not the best arc in One Piece, but at the same time, it's not one of the worst arcs in One Piece. It's very mediocre. It's on the level of Dress Rosa. It's just very mediocre. There are some things that are a little garbage in that arc. And one of them is Luffy versus Cracker. I do not like it. It's Luffy versus Cracker is so bad because the point, it's meaningless. And one of the chapters or episodes of One Piece, it was revealed that Cracker can't take a needle because his pain resilience is so low. But we have Luffy at gear forth over here struggling to beat him. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's really cool how Luffy didn't beat Cracker in your second or third. And Luffy versus Kata, that made sense, because Katakuri's observation, you know, he's able to see in the future, he has advanced color of observation. So that made sense that Luffy struggled against Katakuri, but it just makes no damn sense that he struggled against Cracker. Now you might think, oh, he's a Yonko commander. No, the only reason why Cracker is strong is because of his armor. It's because of his annoying ass, bis bis no. So just want to get that out of the way. So now, I get the sole purpose of this arc, and before anybody's like, oh, but don't get the sole purpose of the arc, Devin. No, I get it. It's Sanji's arc. You know, Sanji, it's about Sanji's ties to German 66. You know, he's getting falsely accused into a marriage, and now Luffy has to save Sanji. It, it's kind of the arc is about family, too. I like the family parts about this arc, between the um, Big Mom Pirates. Got a curry and Brutally, and those two are like the best siblings with each other. If one of them gets hurt, like... I know, um, Burly doesn't go ape shit. you know, you know, Burly heals Katakuri, as we saw in the current episode. When, when, when Katakuri sees one of his siblings get hurt, he goes ape, little ape shit. When, who did that? He carried around mole against those dudes, and he, like, literally stabbed him. Katakuri will go ape shit over his siblings, I like that. I'm gonna tell you what the stuff I didn't like about this one. I like Sanji versus Pudding, too. Well, not Sanji versus Pudding. Gavin, what are you doing? Sanji and Pudding moments. I like them. Now I'm going to tell you what I didn't like about that. I love Sanji. I hate him. I love Sanji. I hate him. Every five minutes of every damn episode, she did that and it annoyed me. You know what also annoyed me? Wedding cakey. Throughout ten episodes. Alright, I'm tired of watching that shit. Right? I don't want to watch that for ten damn episodes. Alright, her little saying, wedding cake, while we're moving at a freaking one minute pace when it's supposed to be hours. Like, this is them moving in one piece. Like, the pacing is so damn bad. Alright, I just want to get that out of the way. There were some moments in this arc that was a little garbage, as I just explained. And there were some arcs I really loved. The Sanji's ties with German 66. We learned what Sanji's mom was like. She was a really nice woman. You know... And the reason why Sanji kinda, kinda cooks is because of her. She said, will you cook for me again? And that's why kinda Sanji does that. And then, the thing with Judge, I like that. You know, Sanji's like, you tell that straight to his face. You're, you're not my real dad, Judge. It's, Zav is my real dad. <clears throat> you know, and then, at, in the current episode, we kinda see them deliver a plate of food. And it's like, you know, they're like identical with each other, you know. <clears throat> and that's out of the way. So then... I love Luffy vs. Katakuri in the manga. The anime butchered it. Alright, there were some moments that were really good enough, and there was just, overall, it was mediocre. The anime butchered it. It, it honestly butchered it. The animation was kind of bad throughout the whole fight. However, there were some parts that were really good, like, 
856 and 870. And that's about it. Just two episodes that were really good animation. <sighs> so with that out of the way, let's go on to My Hero Academia. I like My Hero Academia. It's good. I, what I, do you want to tell you what I don't like? That you're getting six quirks. I don't like that at all. And I'm not saying it doesn't make sense. It's just because... Because he doesn't deserve it, all right? It's gonna make Deku too overpowered, all right? So you have a quirkless boy who learns a quirk. He gets um, one for all from All Might. And now he can learn six quirks. You know, it makes me believe that his dad's all for one because all for one has multiple quirks, all right? It makes sense, but I just don't like it. Black Clover, I heard that, sh that joint is straight fire. I have to, you know, get up with Black Clover and see what's happening because people have been saying that's straight fire, so... I gotta get that. Attack on Titan, fire too. Gotta get caught up to that. And then, um, that's about it for all my schedule. You know, I just gotta get caught up to do a recap of episodes. And hopefully I can get caught up during this week. Now. I'm gonna go over Whole Cake Island again. And I don't, I'm so disgusted with people trying to defend that arc. They call me the best arc in One Piece. I am literally disgusted if you're not pointing out the flaws of it. It is not one of the best arcs in One Piece. It's not. It's clearly not. And Ethobi is way better than Whole Cake Island. Even Alabasta is better than Whole Cake Island. Alabasta. That's the beginning of the story. Like, are you kidding me? Alabasta is way better than Whole Cake Island. Like... I heard, I think I heard, saw someone say, I'd rather watch the Davy Bag fight than watch that colorful piece of shit. A Davy Bag fight? Are you kidding me? Like, that's one of the worst freaking story arcs in One Piece. In fact, if not, it's the worst. Like, that is so low. Someone, I think somebody said that. I'm not one of those people. I clearly watch Whole Cake Island over Davy Bag fight, but that just show you that Whole Cake Island is not the best arcs in One Piece. Alright, it's not. You need to stop defending it. Whole Cake Island has flaws, okay? We are a community. We need to point out flaws. This is why some of the people don't even like One Piece fans, because they preach it like it's the best thing ever. And quite frankly, to be honest, One Piece is one of the best things ever. It's not the best thing ever. Key, it's not the. It's one of. Key vocabulary. Alright? Just wanted to get that out of the way, alright? It's my opinion, Whole Cake Island. You can like Whole Cake Island. I'm not saying you cannot like it. Because I'd be biased if I was doing that. I'm not saying you're a moron if you like Whole Cake Island. I'm not saying you have bad taste in anime if you like Whole Cake Island. You like it because you like it. I like it, but I just, at the same time, I don't like it. I'm kind of like half and half with it. That's me, personally. So that about wraps up everything. The so One Piece is it. Ravelry, finally. Thank God. No, I was getting, honestly getting tired of hearing, Wedding Cakey! Alright, I was getting tired of hearing that. I was tired of seeing Big Mom. I was tired of seeing everything. You know, now we're starting to see fresh faces. VV, Blackbeard, Red Haired Shanks. We're seeing fresh faces. And it's quite frankly, it's it's appealing to the eyes because now we're starting to meet different other characters. And quite frankly, it's starting to feel like One Piece again because we're not seeing the same shit every damn week. <clears throat> Alright. Just wanted to say that. You know, let me know what you thought of this video. I'll be back tomorrow with an MHA video. I am signing out and have a good day. Be sure to subscribe.